Uh, some of you have seen me do this before, but as I say, it's been really popular. This is fabric that has been washed. I'm only using a section of yardage here because of the limited space. Uh, normally this would be just yards and yards of fabric draped over my ironing board. And uh, the fabric was washed, but just folded neatly. This is the first time it's being ironed. And this is uh, freezer paper that I have printed with some instructions because I'm sending this to quilters who order a uh, free shape collection or a book. And it seems to be something that really helps people understand uh, just what printing on fabric is supposed to look like. So that's the plastic coated side pressed to the right side of the fabric so that I can print on the wrong side. And I just trim with my scissors. And then I'll give it a quick press on the other side. And I want to show you how I do the leading edge. Uh, let's see here. Can you see there that is just freezer paper for less than a quarter of an inch and that allows my printer to grab it and feed it through without a jam. I can put stacks of these in the printer and not get a jam. So that's, I'll do another one just, here we go. This is the first time this fabric has been ironed. I'm placing this so that this edge extends beyond the fabric for just a little bit. Hot dry iron and a little tip here. If I was to try to trim this side it would be harder for me because I'm right-handed. Because I'm right-handed and it's easier for me to cut on this edge and use my left hand to just sort of gently tug on the fabric, very light tug, so that I can get a perfectly clean cut along the edge. So that's how simple it is. I know some people assume they have to cut the fabric and cut the freezer paper and somehow line them up, but it's really not necessary. That's how quickly that goes. So I, as I had mentioned before in uh, I think live video number one, uh, I sometimes do 80 or 90 of these at a time uh, because I send them out uh, to quilters. And a another point I'll make here, I'm only using this freezer paper once. I can't reuse it because I'm mailing it to someone. But it can be reused over and over and over again. So if I was uh, printing, I'll just sit down again. Uh, if I was uh, printing for myself, I would be printing a sheet of fabric, ironing the next sheet while I have the ironing board near the printer, and get a little assembly line going. When a, a sheet is printed, I take off the freezer paper, I iron it to the next piece of fabric, and uh, you know, with three or four pieces of freezer paper, I can be very productive and get a lot of printing done in a very short period of time.